Hello, everybody. Welcome to Hi. the Dorkly stream. Uh, I can tell you right now we're going to have some issues with audio because we're playing a game where we have to use our microphones to talk to each other in the game. And uh, the audio levels don't want to work out so that Julia is loud enough. Hi, I'll just yell. I, actually, I can move my microphone closer to me. Does that help? Yeah, move your microphone really love. close. Oh, actually, that's much better. Is that better? Yeah, that's way better. Okay, cool. I moved it uh, closer to my face instead of across my desk. Yeah, just stick it right inside your mouth, I think, is the best yeah. thing Yeah. I also do. realized that... So the way that this game works, if no one has heard of uh, this game, um, we were here, is uh, that we are both in two separate parts of a place, and we cannot see what the other one is seeing, but we have to help each other through puzzles and mazes and stuff. So I realized that I should probably cover the Twitch stream, like the video part, so that I don't see what you're seeing, so that we don't cheat. Oh yeah, probably so. Um, I'm yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pause the Twitch stream. Uh, it does still say oh, we're I playing can, Fortnite, I uh, but I can't change that because I don't have the login info. So we just have to live with this mistake. My God, Brian! Unless I message Brian right now and tell him to change it. Brian, how dare you be? <laughs> Uh, everyone is addressing the name of your room. Jacob? Big titty. <laughs> so, <laughs> to explain myself, um, we we got into this game and went into like the the area where you can look at all the rooms to play in, and there was one other room that that was going right now, and it was just called Titty. So yeah. I made a room called Big Titty so that we could uh, <laughs> so that we could win. It's all about winning. Yeah. Uh, and they did spell it with a double D, so it's titty. It's double D titty. Yeah, yeah, double D titty. That's what we're about here on Dorkly. Yeah. Um, right. And I'd also um, like to say before I'm we ready. get started, uh, Abby Juice, no worries about coming to the stream too early. Uh, I've done stuff like that all the time. I hope you're not. I saw in chat you said you were embarrassed, but no need to be embarrassed. It's all good. Yeah, for sure, it is fine. And uh, everyone else, hi. Should we do some Hello. name shout outs before we go here? Sure, Flemily is here. I see Ghost Rot, I see Still Forest. Underwater Fungi, Planet Fiction, Jacations. Car Caradactyl Stowe, Jehoshaphat's Domino. Wow. Not Caitlin, Derpy Artist, wow, Infinite Boy. Real Gay Alien. Oh man, it's all the good people. It's all it's all all the good people. All my number one favorite people are here. Bumblebee, Lava Gay. Very good. All right, you want to do this thing, Julia? I'm ready. You want to solve some dang puzzles? I do want to solve some dang puzzles. All right. Okay. I'm I'm ready. You ready up and we'll we'll I'm get ready. going. All right. I'm so excited. We're going to solve us a, a mystery. Uh, Julia, can you hear me still or no? Julia's gone for now, guys. She's gone for the duration of this cutscene. I don't even know if she knows that, she, that no one can hear her anymore. We were told by somebody on Twitter that we should play with the in-game, uh, the in-game chat, because there are reasons that it like works better that way. So that's what we're trying to do. I think once we get in, we'll be able to talk again like normal. Uh, thank you, Arthur Lee, for the the happy late birthday. Uh, Julia will be back. Infinite Boy. It's just for this cutscene, I think, that our voice chat is disconnected. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, this game is called We Were Here. And, um, it's, we're solving puzzles in two different parts of, like, a big house castle thing. 
and uh, talking on walkie-talkies to help each other solve the puzzles. And I think it's like an escape the roomy type of thing. Uh, I'm excited. I don't know hardly anything about it. We just uh, we just found it today, looking for a free game to play. Julia, are you back? Jacob. Julia. Jacob, get your dang radio. How how do I do that? Jacob, find the radio. <laughs> find me. Where's the radio? I can hear Julia, but she can't hear me. I mu I must have it. Oh, here it is. Oh, I got I got the radio now, Julia. Hey, did you hear me yelling at? I heard you yelling at me to get the radio, yes. Nice! Did it help you find the radio? There were no directions to it. I just heard your voice and couldn't figure out how to respond. Oh, yeah. Mine said press V to respond on the top left. But it was because of you that I knew there was a radio. Um, I picked up a book and I literally did not know how to put it down. You have to live with your mistakes now, Julia. Oh, I had to press this. Uh, so it seems straight away we can't both be talking at the same time. Should we start saying over like we're we're on a secret mission over? Yes, over. I agree, over. Oh, I said over time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm looking around this room I'm in. I've got like a gated door. I've got some runes on a wall. And I've got uh, just some like miscellaneous junk around over. What do the runes look like over? Okay, so they're they're on one of the walls. Um, they look like a bunch of different things. One's like a like looks like a line graph. It looks like I can touch them in a certain order, uh, perhaps. One is a circle with some lines through it. One's like a uh, uh, N symbol. One's a circle with an X through it. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff over. Okay, my room is very big. You're gonna have to give me uh, two seconds to try to find this. I have a lot of rune things. This is unbelievable. Over. Is there like a drawing of a cat? You forgot to say over, but I'll let it slide this time, over. I said over by itself! <laughs> there is no drawing of a cat, over. But there is, not over, there is on the wall in blood, someone wrote, the answer lies. Oh, between the eyes. Between the eyes? That's what this book that I'm looking at says. It says between the eyes and it's in blood, over. Oh, cool, so those two things must go together. Do you have anything with eyes? Because I have a whole chart of eyes, over. None of my stuff looks like eyes, over. I have straight up drawings of eyeballs over, so it's probably me on my end. Describe the runes you're looking at. Give me one second. I'm looking around the room to make sure I haven't missed anything else. Uh, people in the chat have just informed me that uh, Above the runes on the wall are two glowing eyes, so all the runes are in between two eyes, over. Okay, uh, are those eyes- sorry, I found a puzzle and I was doing it myself. Do those eyes have a color, over? The left eye is, is blue and the right eye is red, over. All right, do those two symbols look like an M and an N? Over. Oh, yeah, I got those. Over. Click those. Over. 
in any particular order or just w whenever over? Uh, the M is right next to the blue eye, and the N is right next to the right, uh, the red eye. Over. All right, I'll give it a try. Uh, that worked. It opened a door for me. Over. Nice. I got two achievements, so I knew something happened. Over. Hell yeah. Over. Uh, I've been closed into a different room now. Uh, there's some stuff going on. There's what looks like an alchemy circle on the floor. Uh, straight ahead of me is a horrible painting of what looks like a, a skeleton kangaroo. And then there's a big, a big board with a bunch of runes on it. Over. Okay, you have a skeleton kangaroo. Oh. Yeah, it's like a human skull. Oh god, it's worse than I thought. It's also whispering at me. It's a human skull on like a hairy two-legged body, but the feet are hands and there's a, a head on its butt with a tongue out. Over. Is the head like a peacock head? No, you said it was a skull, correct? It is a human skull. It looks just like something you've drawn on Drawfee before. So it's a masterpiece is what you're telling me, over. It's a beautiful masterpiece, and uh, everybody loves it, over. Okay, I found the painting. To reiterate, it is a human skull with a hairy uh, ostrich body with a, a long horse tail with a, a gross tongue <laughs> face on its back with... Uh, four human fingers on each foot, over? <laughs> yep, that's correct, over. <laughs> Wonderful. So I have three drawings underneath uh, my painting of this uh, beautiful creation. It is a... Uh, I'm going to try to describe it to you. It is a chalice with boobs, a uh, phallic church, and a snake coming out of a box with a helmet on. Over. Okay, I'm looking at the symbols I have here. Um, can you describe the chalice with boobs a bit more to me? Okay, so it's a chalice with a little Y bottom, but no line going across for the bottom, so it's just like a uh, like feet kind of thing. Actually, you know what it looks like? It looks like uh, a stick figure man with real short legs where his head got cut in half and he's holding his cheeks like, oh! I found that one and I, uh, I'm gonna hit it right now and then uh, go ahead and explain the next one to me. The next one I think looks like a farm silo with a, uh, it's like a sideways T. Okay, I see that one as well. I've also just discovered that instead of just hitting them, I take them off the wall, and I'm not sure where I put them yet. Over. Okay, I have a second room that I can go into. So, Oh, no, I don't. That's a lie. Never mind. So, I don't know. You figure it out. <laughs> Thank you for all your help. If I drop them on the ground, they just disappear. So I must do something else with them, but I'm not sure what yet, over. Oh wait, I figured it out. There's a, there's slots for them. Cause that's how I'm seeing it uh, on my end, over. Sorry, can you repeat that? I was talking over you excitedly. What was your excitement? I found s some slots underneath the horrible painting that they go in, over. Yeah, that's what I was basically telling you, because it's uh, on my screen. There's like a little nameplate under the painting. Over. Okay, so it's the chalice first, right? Over. Chalice first, and then the weird silo. Over. Okay. 
Okay, got the chalice and the weird silo. What's the last thing again? Oh boy. Uh, it is... So, it's like a box with no bottom, and then inside the box is a little curling snake that pops up to the top left of the box, and then his head is in, like, a, a tea infuser. Over. Okay, I think I see the one you're talking about. I'm gonna put it in and see what happens over. Yeah, buddy. Aw, yeah. Getting them chivos. All right, Julia, I'm in a new room now. Uh, there, it's, there's boxes in it, there's pipes and barrels. Uh, if I go down to the bottom, there's a flooded hallway, uh, where the water's actually rising in front of a door that says purple on top of it in green letters. Oh yeah, Julia. What did you do? How'd you solve it over? So on my end, I had three uh, valves uh, in a flooded basement here, and one of them's blue, one of them's red, and one of them's yellow, so I just made purple. Uh, also, there's some creepy statues of some creepy men, and they scared the ever-living Christ out of me over. <laughs> well, way to go. You saved me from drowning over. Uh, Julia, I'm reading a, a wall here, um, and written in blood, it says, Bring down the guiding light. Over. I don't know what the hell that means, over. I also have two potential ways to travel. Uh, left goes downstairs towards a statue, and right goes towards another painting. Do you have any guidance there, over? I pulled a lever that is lit at the end, and I don't know if that did anything on your end. Oh, I think a chandelier just fell in my- Oh, I found it! <laughs> <laughs> did you bring down the guiding light? I did! I found a map! Okay, do you have any lights in front of you? Uh, there are two torches. Over. Describe to me the room you're in. So, I, I am in a room where in front of me, written on the wall in blood, it says, bring down the guiding light, and there are two torches. Uh, to my right, a hallway goes down that leads to a painting. And to my left, it's a stairwell down that leads to a statue, and there appear to be other branching paths as well, so I might need to just explore more. Okay, I have a map in front of me that's, like, color-coordinated, co color and I think that there's, like, levers and stuff that I can tell you which doors to open. I have, um... The only thing that I can see on my map are hallways, stairs, boxes, and barrels. So I need uh, descriptions by those. I also can see like right and left turns. <laughs> Julia, I have very good news about the painting. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, sorry, I had to take a laughter break. Uh, the painting is of a golden retriever uh, who has a chandelier coming out of his head and it looks like he swallowed a large potato that's stuck in his throat, but he's having a great time over. That sounds phenomenal and I am jealous. Over. Uh, I did take a screenshot for you. Over. You are truly a good friend. Over. Here's a question. Would would this be easier if we just talked on Discord so we didn't have to say over so many times over? It 
that's a good point. Over, should we switch over to Discord? Or I'm one I'm I'm worried that this would cancel out a mechanic. Oh. I guess if it gets too annoying, we can switch back, and if not, we can just stay here. Over. I'm down for whatever. Also, uh, the chandelier only stays down for so long, so I have to keep running back and forth to activating the light. Uh, it's going to be very annoying. Okay, I'll try to find some sort of something to tell you about as soon as I can. Uh, I found a gate with green jewels on it that is closed. Anything you can do about that, over? Yes, I can. Hold on, give me one second. I had to run back to my map here. All right, friends, so I got myself a map. It's got closed doors and a green lever. Uh, if you could tell me where exactly you are at, if you are looking at the closed door, I will be able to tell you where to go. It, it is a, a closed green gate. Does that help, Over? Mm, yes, sir, but you're gonna have to open a blue gate before you close up that there uh, green gate. Uh, oh, this is actually gonna require a lot of work from my end. Hold on. I gotta look at this map. All right, my friend, I got you some directions. Wonderful, let me know what's up. If you would be so kind as to look at the gate and then look to your right, there should be some stairs a little bit behind you. If you would like to go down that hallway and then you see a room full of boxes, uh, if you could go into that there room, there should be a blue lever. I'm gonna need you to hit that blue lever, over. I'm looking, one second. It be towards the back of the room, over. I found a blue lever surrounded by boxes and a ladder and I switched it, over. Mm, that's excellent work, Jacob. So I'm gonna uh, go back to my map here because the chandelier went away. Now, if you exit that room that the blue lever is in, and you make yourself a, uh, a left out of that room, and then you go into the room that has barrels, and you make a right, and you should be able to go down that hallway, then you get to a big room with some boxes, uh, if you keep going dead straight, uh, there will be a, a green lever towards the end of that room, over. All right, one second. It's actually a much bigger area than you'd think, so I'm trying to keep all your instructions in mind as I run down these hallways. Oh, no, I just saw something slithering around. Over, now I'm very scared. Over. And you let me know when you get it. You were talking so you missed it, but I did just see something slithering around, and now I'm very scared. Over. That is fair over, I say kick it to the moon. Uh, Julia, just wanted to let you know I did find a portrait of a dog that barfed, over. Jacob, I would like to update you and say I just laughed out loud uh, to myself, <laughs> over. <laughs> Julia, the chat's reminded me that I should indeed take a photo for you of this barfed, barfing dog over, so I'll be doing that right now, over. I very much appreciate that. Uh, I look forward to seeing that later once we are done, over. Julia, I have good news. I have found the green lever and uh, switched it downwards. Uh, I, I await your next instructions, over. 
All right, that's just beautiful. So you're gonna have to go back and switch that blue lever uh, that you switched before. If you need instructions on how to get back to that room, I can do that from here if you need. Just let me know. Over. Well, that is mighty kind of you, but I do think I can manage my way back to the lever over. That is lovely, and I am proud of you. Over. I said that, but then I did go the wrong way, and now I don't know where the lever is anymore. Over. Well, son, you done fucked up. You're gonna have to tell me which room you're in, and I can help you. Oh, <laughs> uh, the accent is very good. Give me one second, I'm having myself a bit of a look around over. Guys, when you're talking on a walkie-talkie, it just feels so right to use the southern accent. Julia, do you think you could direct me from the green lever back to the blue lever over? Yes, sir, I can. So if you are looking at the green lever, you're going to want to look behind you. And uh, if you walk back and then if you walk, if you look directly at the green lever and you just walk straight backwards and you hit that wall, you look to your right and there should be a staircase. Take that staircase, you take it down, there's going to be a little bit of a bump, but keep going straight. Don't make that hard turn, you're going to keep going straight. Then, you are going to hit a room that has barrels and a big old box, and you are going to want to make a left, and don't make that first right, because you are going to leave the room, and then you are going to take that second right, and that should have three boxes and one old box, and that should have the blue lever in the back. Over. Julia, I must say those are the best directions I ever did receive. I am at the lever and switching it now over. Nah, thank you for your kind words. Now I have to go hit that chandelier because I done goofed. <laughs> yeah, somebody please do some uh, some fan art of uh, truckers. Nah, all right, now, buddy boy. So I am looking at these here directions. Um. If you are looking at that blue lever, you swivel around and you look at those stairs that you came down to get into this room, you are going to want to go up those stairs, make a right, then follow that hallway down, and then you are going to make that first right, which should have been our room that was a closed. You will want to go into that room. It has four barrels to your left, one barrel dead ahead of you, and two boxes, and there should be a red lever in that room, and you're going to want to hit that. I may have gotten a bit turned around. Give me one moment, please. I have good news for you, Julia. I did find the red lever over. I'll be switching it right now, over. The lever is switched, over. All right, now we got something real annoying, and I apologize, but I did not design this hell of a dungeon that you are in. So you want to go back the way you came, and by back the way you came, I mean up those stairs, make a left, follow that hallway all the way down, and go back to that blue lever that should be right in front of you. You're going to want to hit that for me, please. I am on my way back to the blue lever, and I must say I am tired of hitting that lever. I do have to uh, concur. Over. Now, Julia, I have hit the blue lever and I await further instructions with bated breath. Over. Alright, I'm gonna have to do this off of memory because I'm too lazy to run up all those dang stairs to hit that chandelier. So now, if you are in that blue room, you go back up those stairs, you make a left. Then you make that first right, you keep going straight, 
And then you should be able to hit that room that has four boxes in that wee corner. Wee corner, that's right. Our southerners say we. And you are going to want to hit that lever. Thank you. Over. Julia, what color is the lever, if you don't mind my asking? Thank you very much. Over. I do believe, unless I am an idiot and cannot remember my instructions, it will be green. Now, Julia, is this the same green lever that I did hit earlier that I will be hitting for a second time over? Yes, this dungeon is a hell dungeon. It is filled with snakes and barfing dogs and levers. You must hit six a trillion times. And I do apologize, but again, I did not design this a hell dungeon over. Now, Julia, I would like to inform you that although you cannot hear me when the walkie-talkie is off, I am uh, laughing quite a bit at the accent that you're doing, and it does bring me a great joy over. I've also flipped the lever. Thank you over. Well, I do apologize. I do, uh, not apo- Uh, I graciously <laughs> accept your compliments about my speech, even though I do not know what words are. Now, if you look just to the left of the uh, green lever, can you please tell me if that door is in fact open or a closed over? Uh, the door is open. It's the, the door with the green jewel on it. Over. All right, my friend, you are going to want to go through that door and make your first left down those stairs. And we are out of that hell room, and you should be on your merry way. Over. We sure are, and it was noted by the achievements that we both just received. Thank you, over. Mm, that is a wonderful thing. Thank you, over. Now, Julia, I appear to be in some sort of large outdoor chessboard. Over. I don't know what the outdoors are because I am in just the darkest room with lots of blood and eyeballs in it. And it seems like something that we joke that I would live in uh, <laughs> on the Drawfee show. But I am, in fact, finding it a, a little unpleasant. Uh, let me... Let me take a look around and see, and see if I can't find this outdoor room you speak of. Now, Julia, you know I do love that Drawfee show on the YouTube.com slash Drawfee, one of my personal favorites. Thank you, over. So I do not have an outdoor location. However, if you are seeing something else in that outdoor room, Feel free to tell me what you are seeing, and I will look around this kind of room that I am in to try to find what you are describing. Oh. Now, Julia, I do have in this outdoor room, aside from a very large... Oh, I'm getting very cold, and it appears to be causing me a great amount of distress. Uh, there is a generator here, I believe, that I can access. I'm going to attempt to do that now. Thank you. Over. Now, Julia, I appear to have turned on a generator successfully, and here's hoping it's going to warm me up a bit, or else I might die in the near future. Over. Uh, yes, we wouldn't want you to die. However, I do not see a simple thing that indicates that I could help you with an outdoors cold area, but I am looking. Trust me on that. Now, Julia, do you see anything that resembles a chessboard anywhere in your little notes there, over? I did, in fact, try to just open a door, and the locked noise scared me half to death. I am now looking for a chessboard. Oh, wait, I have, like, six billion books that tell me directions, but they none of them are in order. You're going to have to give me one second. Julia, I am very nearly frozen to death, so I will be seeing you on the other side uh, once I have made it to the afterlife. Thank you, over. 
I just see books that have kittens on it, and I don't <laughs> really know what's going on. Uh, I see something with starting in the far west corner. One moves north thrice. Take one step south, but not before taking two steps east. Continue towards the eastern wall, then head toward the end of it all. Now, Julia, I'm afraid that, that that bit of information you've given me is of no help to me at this juncture, but I will say that the, uh, the chat room in our Twitch chat is telling you to look for a projector. Can you do that for me, please? Over. I do, in fact, have a projector, but I only have one little thing to project, and it is not letting me... Oh, there it goes. Never mind. I lied. I'm bad at technology. It is not spinning, however. I do not know how to make it spin. Give me one second. It seems that I am missing some gears, and I do not know where those gears are. Give me uh, a couple of seconds, and I will try. Now, Julia, I do have a bit of bad news for you, and it's that I can't see anything anymore. My vision is completely occluded with snow, and I think I'll be dying now in the next few seconds. Over. I do apologize that my tardiness has led to your untimely death, but I still cannot find this dig-dang gear that we so desperately need. Julia, the chat does bring up a good point that cold probably shouldn't affect my vision in this way, but I'd like to counter that point by saying my eyeballs are frozen. Over. Well, uh, good news. I figured out that there is, in fact, a button I had to press on this projector. Well, by all means, take your time. There's no rush or anything. Now, can you, in fact, see anything whatsoever? I can barely see a bit in front of me. It's probably not the best of it. I'll try my best. Thank you. Over. Now, I do not know which one of these moves I was supposed to tell you, but if you have chess pieces, I can tell you where to move them. Over. I, I do, in fact, have many chess pieces, except I, I do hear the sounds of my death creeping ever closer, but I will take those instructions from you now. Over. Alright, so, uh, if you are the, uh, hold on. Hold on, it's booting up. If you are the white pieces, if you go to E2 and move that pawn two spaces up, then a, two black pawns should come in, and a, then a bishop moves left four spaces, and then a queen moves over three, and then you move that queen up to kill that pawn. Now, you must know that was too many instructions to tell me at one time, but I will attempt to move the pawn at what I assume is E2, and I will get back to you on what happens. Julia, it appears I'm playing both teams in this here game of chess. Uh, what, what is the black move following the first white move? You are going to move the pawn, the black pawn, at E7 down to E5. Well, I died. It does appear that you have, it does appear that you have, in fact, perished. Yes, Julia, I'm afraid I did perish, but thankfully this castle will not relinquish us that easily, and we have another chance at this. All right, are you back out in the snow? Now, give me one moment to pull up a chess grid, because I believe I was moving the wrong pieces to begin with. Over. I could just tell you in normal people speak and not chess speak if you would prefer. Over. Well, Julia, that's mighty fine. I do have a grid pulled up now, so I should be good to go, and I'll be going outside immediately and uh, turning on the old generator so you can access your projector. Thank you very much. Over. Thank you kindly. I was trying to get ahead of the game and turn on my projector, but it would not let me. I guess it is because you did not turn on the projector yet.
projector should be engaged now, good buddy. Feel free to get that thing going up and running whenever you get the chance to. Over. All right, I see we've turned back into airline pilots with the engaged. Uh, if you would like to uh, fasten your seatbelt, I will show you where the emergency exits are. Now, uh, we are going to start off with the white pawn at E2. Uh, and we are, in fact, going to move it up two spaces. That is right. If you are sitting in the emergency row uh, and you do not feel comfortable sitting there and you need an adult, uh, feel free to alert one of the cabin crew. I would like to remind my co-pilot, if I could, that we are in a bit of a time crunch here on this flight. So if she could give me the instructions as quickly as possible before I freeze to death once more, that would be wonderful over. All right, you are going to move the pawn at E2 over to E4, and then you are going to move the black pawn at E7 to E5. Those moves are both complete. Uh, feel free to give me the next moves at any time. All right, you are going to take the bishop at F1 and move him over to F, no, C4. Now, which bishop was that again? F1? Don't curse at me. Yeah, it's F1. Uh, you move it over to F, uh, to C4, sorry. It, it, we start at F1 to C4. Alrighty, that move is complete. Next move, please. Alright, well, I got all turned around because my co pilot here could not properly follow my instructions the first time, so I'm going to have to rewatch, but I do believe that it is the pawn at. B7, and you are going to move it up to, hold on, I need one second. The safety instructions are very hard to follow. You are going to move that black pawn from B7 to B6. Done, next please. You are going to take the white queen and move her uh, up to F3. F3. That move is complete. Next move, please. Next move, please. Gage the walkie-talkie. I am kind of an idiot. So you are going to take, if you have already moved the queen over to F3, you are going to go to the black horse at B8 and move him over to C6. Oh, God. All right, that move is complete. I can hardly see. Hopefully this is done soon. Yeah, we have one more move left. It is you move the queen from F3 up to F7, and you take that pawn, and you are done. There we go. Dear Jesus Lord, thank God. I am running inside as fast as possible. Oh, thank God I can see again over. You still hear me over there, Julia? Yes, I can, but I did not hear you if you said something other than you are inside and safe. 
So I appear to now be in a room where directly in front of me is a book containing five runes. Uh, and then in front of that is a, a large grid-like structure uh, flanked by spears on both sides, leading to a door at the other end. It seems as though I have to step on these blocks. Oh! I, I was correct. I do have to step on these blocks in a certain order to avoid death. Yeah, I do have about uh, five or six or seven books. There are way too many books that all have five runes on the front, and you are ha going to have to describe to me those runes in great detail, and I will draw them down on my little notebook in front of me in real life. I don't know what accent I'm doing anymore. Uh, <laughs> and uh, on the back of the book are instructions on how not to die over All right, I'm gonna describe these five runes as best I can. The first one I would call Happy Cat. Uh, the second one is your favorite and mine, Phallic Church. The third one uh, is like a stick figure with a, a flat ovular head and a snake body. The fourth one is a, a man holding, looks like a man holding both his hands up. He has a circle for a head and circle for hands and his legs are a flat horizontal line. And the final one is like a fucked up candlestick. Uh, wow, I, I, I did in fact find a happy penis. You are going to have to describe to me the cat because I do have two cat symbols. Is it a cat head with a straight little line under it or is it like a cat with a little bit of a body over it? It's a cat with a nice big round body and two hands reaching towards the sky in celebration over. All right, this weird candlestick, does it kind of look like a robot with one eyeball standing very sad on a boat that is way too tiny to sustain him? <laughs> yes, I would say that is exactly what it looks like, over. All right, excellent. I do believe I have the book that you need. I am drawing this little sad robot in case one of us dies. Uh, for whatever reason. Alright, so I've got your instructions for you. Um, are you ready to receive these instructions, Mr. Jacob? I'm incredibly ready for those instructions whenever you're ready to give them to me, over. I hope you are incredibly ready for these instructions because they are stupid. <laughs> give me one second to try to untangle these. All right, I do believe that I have instructions for you. And if you die, I blame the book, not myself. All right, starting in the far west corner. Are you there? Oh. I am there, over, except not over, because should I go ahead and step on that block, over? Do please step on that block, over. I'm on the block safe and sound. Can't even imagine anything bad happening to me, over. That is fine and dandy like uh, flapjacks on a nice Sunday morning. So you are going to have to move north thrice, according to this book. Over. Now, Julia, I do have bad news for you, and it's that I moved forward twice, and on the third step, I was stabbed to death by a group of spears, and it was most unpleasant for me. Over. I do wonder if that first step you took onto the far west corner was counting as the first step, which would be dumb. But dumb, as we know, over. Julia, I do in fact have a new book now, so prepare for a new description of runes. I am ready to receive those rune instructions when you are ready. Alrighty, the first rune is that other cat, the skinny one, arms still upraised to the heavens in a, a pose of jubilation. The second rune looks like a wishbone or a, a, a Mickey Mouse's legs. Uh, the third one is the snake in a box, the classic snake in a box from our last adventure. The fourth one is the man with the, the orb for a head and hands uh, and no legs at all, just a horizontal line. And the fourth one, the, is, the fifth one I mean, is a nice, a nice little house with two windows and a door.
I do see the Mickey Mouse legs and I do acknowledge your description of the Mickey Mouse legs. They are real. Just on point. Alright, I am looking at this here uh, book. Uh, just to uh, double check some facts before I leave you to your untimely death with the Lord Jesus. Uh, that man with his arms out to the skies, are they at perfectly squared off 90 degree angles to the sky? Over. They are, in fact, at perfectly squared off 90 degree angles to the sky. Over. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. All right, now <laughs> I am looking at this book. So it says, starting in the far west, take two steps northbound, and then head east twice. I do have good news for you, Julia, and it's that I made those moves successfully, and I await your next orders. All right, you do not have another book for me, Ogre? N no, there's no other books. I'm now in the midst of a very dangerous situation, Ogre. All right, so now I'm reading the rest of this book, and it says, I, I am, in fact, tilting my head at a very awkward angle. Because this book does not want to straighten itself out for me. Oh, there it goes. All right. Then after moving north two times, one can head for the door. After taking one step toward the western wall. Over. I apologize for that bad wording. It was not my fault. You're going to have to give me that one more time. I'm afraid that was a bit confusing. Over. So as it is written on the good book, it says, <laughs> Then after moving north two times, one can head for the door after taking one step toward the northern wall. I guess that was their attempt at rhyming, and it sucked. So let me try to figure this out. Oh, you found it. Too late, Julia. I did solve the puzzle. Uh, I am, in fact, a genius of video games and also of life. I do not disagree. You to know I got locked in. I'm in a scary church. Ooh. Jacob. Wait. Jacob, someone's trying to kill me. Wait, I hear voices. Hold on. Uh, I got locked in a room as well, and I heard a voice say, Welcome to tonight's feature show. I got the same one. Um, do you have two? Do you? Oh, God, there's a phonograph in the back. What do you say? So I have to my right uh, a big switch uh, that says is labeled blood light that is currently off. Then in the center of the room, I have a trap door and above that a series of six cranks. And to the right of that, a lever that says scene one above it. Over. All right, my friend, I do believe this is the part of the game where you can possibly kill me because I've got diddly squat. I got a stage with some grass and a lot of red pews. Look, they're going to watch my death, so please hit whichever switch is at your disposal. I must admit I am a bit concerned about hitting any switches at this juncture, but I will pull one and see what happens over. Now, did that make anything happen? No, but I'm very scared. Oh, I can open this door. Hold on. Hold on, give me one second. I have a trap door. And I have a phonograph. And a, a little puddle of blood. Oh! I'm getting... Oh my god! Hit the lights! I turned on the blood lights? Are there more blood lights? 
There's my room and they're trying to kill me. Hit the lights. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. Hold on, I'm working on it. Are you moving a little stage piece? You're moving a little stage piece. I am moving a stage piece. Is that helping? Archway. Put that one back. You don't want that one? Okay, it's saying there once was a castle filled with life. Sorry, I'm very bad at hearing. We all know that I'm su I am suck at that one. Put, put that archway back, I guess. Okay, one moment. Do you have a set? Can you see the sets? And is one of them a castle? Uh, none of them are... A well, that one with the archway does have a castle on it. Okay, yeah, put that one back. Whatever you did, this ghost is coming at me, and it is the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm actually <laughs> genuinely scared. Oh, the lights just turned off. Oh, hold on. Is the castle out there all the way? Dark. Sorry, is the castle out there all the way? Yeah, it's dead center. It's telling me that it's filled with life. It also keeps trying to kill me when I get off stage. I have uh, another set piece that is a bunch of people. I'm trying to figure out which lever moves those people. I think I'm seeing it on my screen. It's the one at the front, if that helps at all. The front. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this ghost. Oh, come on. Hey, guess what? The ghost tried to kill me again. that the people you moved the person the wrong way uh, this is tough I don't know at all what I'm really moving okay well I'm tell I can tell you uh, that one that you just moved move it again is it that one no That one? Oh, no, put that one back. Put that one back right now. It's a king covered in blood. Okay, so... So, just to be clear, when I hit the first scene, it said there once was a castle filled with life. Yes. So, I get... Oh, my God, this ghost is really trying to kill me. Um... Yeah, it's there once was a castle filled with life. So I guess you do have a cardboard that you moved before that had a person on it who looked happy. Try moving that one again. Just don't move in the bloody king because he was... This ghost is coming to kill me. Jacob, you need to hurt. I'm going to move a bunch of switches and you tell me when it moves, okay? Yep. No, keep going, because I don't see anything. I see them kind of hiding in a wall. No, that's the bloody king! Move him back! <laughs> yes, yes. Pretty lady. So there, there might be another one, because there's like a jester cutout in the back. Okay, I think I need to keep moving this one. One sec. That one is the queen, or the, the princess lady. You're putting her away. You need to put her back to where she was. Oh my god.
Yes, that one, that one, that one, that one. Is it in place? Oh. So, uh... <laughs> so I turned around and the ghost was sitting in the audience and he was just staring at me and then I tried to move so I could see the front of the stage and he killed me. Yeah, I think I took a bit too long. Sorry about that, buddy. And it's all good. It was just very scary. I can't wait to show you those screenshots. Um, so... We've got to do the, the book platform game again. My god, we have to do chess again, huh? Not chess, just the uh, the walking across the platforms thing. Oh, that's not that bad. Alright, describe to me what you're seeing. Okay, I've got uh, skinny, skinny cat, phallic church, snake in a box, uh, happy man with curved arms and diamond hands, and a uh, uh, girl robot in a rounded boat. I can't wait to see what you mean by girl robot. She has a dress like the, the, the female bathroom sign. Um, okay, that second to last symbol, is there a third leg? Yeah, he got a wiener. All right, I got the wiener book and the lady boat. All right, so according to this, starting from the far east, moving two steps north. Got it. Head two steps towards the west. Got it. All right, to be clear, you do not have a new book, right? Nope. All right, move two steps towards the north, take a step east before heading toward forward once more. We got it. Nice, because I just got an achievement that said Vlad the Impaler, and that made me worried. Okay, I'm going to try for this scene one again and try to get the things in in the right order this time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's feature show. Uh, my game glitched, and I opened the door to myself, and it flung me to the moon. I'm back on Earth. Hold on. All right, are you ready? I suppose so. All right, I'm going to start playing the phonograph. There once was a castle filled with life. Perfect, right there. All right. Now we need the life part. That It was that one on the back right. Perfect, perfect. Turn it once more. That is all I can turn it. Alright, maybe we need... I think I engage... Not getting a new prompt. I think I need to engage the scene now. Um... There oh. once was a castle filled with There once was a castle filled with life, is what it said to me again. But it got super eerie and purple. I think you need to play the phonograph again. We need a king and his wife. Probably not the bloody king, I'm going to hope. 
the queen, I think, was the one closest to me on the right, like, towards the front of the stage. <laughs> this ghost! I think... Should have a king coming out. Alright, if I'm looking at the back of the stage from the front, uh, the queen is on the, the, the one closest to me on the right. I don't know if that helps. Yeah, I just have to figure out which lever re refers to her, so it'll be just a sec. Okie dokie, I'm just taking screenshots of Spooky Uki over here. I found it, one second. Perfect, keep going. Uh oh, that wasn't right. Excuse me? It just said there was a king and a queen? A, a king and his wife. Maybe move the lady back to her spot, or, or maybe there's one with the two of them together. I'm looking at... There's something... Like, the middle row on the left uh, looks like it's a big one. I don't know what's on it, though. I feel like I moved the right ones out. I'm not sure what the other one could be. I don't know. Um, I don't... I'm looking at the boards, or I'm trying to, and I only see one other board left. Um, and it's the one middle left. Because the other boards are gone. Oh wait, what are you moving right there? Uh, that was the people. I'm trying to get the castle back out. Okay, yeah, that was the people. Um... Is that the castle? That's the castle. Maybe put the castle back? Yeah, I'm gonna try that. And there lived a king with his wife. There we go. Yep. All was happy and all was good. All was happy and all was good? Yes, sir. Maybe move everyone back except for the Bloody King? We can try. I want you to know the spooky ghost is a marionette puppy that just a uh, puppy puppet that has glowing eyes and he's coming at me. I am very sorry. Going as fast as I can here. He's now sitting in the seat and staring at me, which means my death is very soon. Is that one Bloody King? No. I'm going, I'm going. All were happy and all was good. Whew. Boy, oh boy. All right, what's next, Julia? Uh, I don't know if I can make it to the phonograph without dying. I'm gonna try.
Until the king killed all he could. So I guess move the king back and put the bloody king in. Maybe put all of the people back in, except for the bloody king. Working on it. I see that, thank you. Oh my god, the ghost is dancing on the stage! That's not the castle, right? That was the castle. Shit. That was the king. Damn it, I tried blood light. Let me try to get the castle back out. Blood light is probably what we need, but probably put the castle back in. Looks like we need more back in. I... Oh, maybe we had to put the blood light on with everyone on stage except for the king? That might have been it. For the people who are saying that my end of the game sounds more interesting. Uh-oh. <laughs> For the people who are saying my end of the game is more interesting, it's definitely not. I'm just watching this creepy marionette doll lunge at me from across the room. Woo! Got it! How you doing, Julia? Uh... Standing in blood, he proudly said. So I guess you have to move the bloody king over to- Uh-oh. Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, for those of you in the chat saying that, um... That Julia has the more interesting one, she does for right now, but, uh... I've had the more interesting ones for a while, so I think it switches off back and forth. Well? Okay, we got it this time. Yeah, we do. I, I wrote down the steps as we were going, so we'll be able to have a, a little bit of head art. Alright, now, Jacob, I'm gonna have to ask you to please describe to me the runes that you are seeing. Uh, too late, Julia. I am an actual genius, and I already went across the map. Holy Jesus, you are a genius. This door is, in fact, open, and I cannot wait to get my soul taken from this dark marionette joker Ladies thingy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's feature show. I did, in fact, get sent to the moon once again. All right, Jacob, my friend, are you ready to hear some instructions? I did not say go, my friend. Not hit the phonograph. I'm getting ready. Damn it. Now you are going to put that castle back into the center of the stage, please. And then you are going to move on the people onto the stage, please. I'm a going. There once Good job. was a castle filled with light. And there lived a king and his wife. Castle coming out. 
It's very funny on my end, because I just see things sliding around, and uh, this, like, I, I can either look at the stage with things moving across, or the really creepy marionette doll that is trying its best to kill me. I definitely want to play this again from the opposite perspectives. I absolutely want to do that, because this, this end, it's like a little boring, but it's not boring enough where it's like too boring for a stream. And there we I'm just staring at levers. All are happy and all was... So I do believe that is everything except for the Bloody King. This takes forever to do. Oh yeah, I'm seeing it on my end. They're just moving in. I see them just sliding in. All were happy and all was good. Nice work. Now the king is killing everyone, so I guess put the good king in and then the bloody king it, uh, bloody king back in. Bloody king coming out. Back, replace him with the bad king. Yeah, that, that. Do we think I need to remove the good king? Back, put the king back! You didn't put the first king back. There, there you go. Oof. Standing in blood, he proudly said. So move the bloody king in, um, not to the middle, but like, I don't know, kind of if you're staring at the stage, it's like three-fourths to the left. <laughs> I just backed up and the thing tried to kill me. Uh, I, I cannot see the stage at all, so. Okay, so the, the Bloody King. Move him in and I'll tell you when to stop. Can you move in anymore? No, that's it. Alright, uh, can you move the Bloodlight, or is the Bloodlight on? The Bloodlight is on, yes. Marionette doll just got closer to me. Um, because he said, standing in blood, he proudly said. But, unless we move in the not bloody king, but that would be weird. Uh, we can try it. Yeah, why don't we try it? God knows I've died a lot anyway. Stop right there. Move the bloody king in. Please. Standing in blood, he proudly said. Thank God. Still there, Julia? Yeah, I don't know what to do. I think you have to open the trap door for me, because the, the top of the door opened, but not I can't get in. Oh, no, I'm in. <gasps> Jacob, look behind you! Oh! Julia! Oh my god, we've done it! Jacob! <laughs> we still have to talk on walkie-talkies for some reason. It's very cold. Our mouths are very covered. Let's get the fuck out of here. 
Let's do it. Oh no, one of us has to stay behind. I'll stay. I'm the keeper of the library. Library. Uh, Julia, no, I can't go on without you. Go, follow your dreams. This is my worst nightmare. Friend, I am going to kindly request that you go and follow your dreams. I'll never forget you. <laughs> oh, I wonder if there was another way out. get Julia back on Discord. Julia, hello. Hi. I wonder if there's a way for us to have not died because of what they said? I think there has was... to have been, right? If yeah. Like, I wonder if it was another way? Yeah, I'm trying to think if there was anything in the library that I like didn't use. I'm not sure what we could have done. I don't know. Sorry I left you in the castle forever. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> um, I thought that, that was um, super good. I thought that, that we would have, like, I'd have a chance to open the door from, like, by solving a puzzle on the other side. And nah, nah, you just abandoned me. I was just like, well, later. <laughs> <laughs> that was very good. Yeah, I actually really liked that game. Uh, and it's also completely free. That's nuts. That is completely free um do you want to we still have like half an hour left of the stream do you want to um pop in to the be the librarian to see what it's like oh yeah or... let's do that i bet we could speed run it pretty quick to be honest yeah because i still have some notes uh written down in my notebook yeah let's try the uh the other ones maybe we'll see what we can do to both survive yeah for sure uh there's probably some things that i missed in the library so uh, this room will be called Biggest Titty. Uh, totally not Middle Earth or Neckbeard. Which one of those rooms is you? Neither. <laughs> um. Get in here. Okay, sorry. I was... I got a message. <laughs> I didn't know what that meant. Uh, cool. Uh, cool. Okay. okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. We can probably just play on Discord this time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, uh... I, uh... You'll be You'll muted. Be muted. All right. We just won't use the walkie-talkie. Yeah, we just won't pick up the walkie-talkies. It'll be fine. Uh, for those of you in the chat, if you're just coming in, uh, welcome. And also, we're playing a game. We actually just beat it uh, one way around. It's called um, We Were Here. And uh, we use it. We use these walkie-talkies to talk to each other and... Uh, help each other solve puzzles in different parts of this castle until we can manage to escape. Uh, so now we've just switched roles and are going to try out the other side of things. I hear... Oh, I just heard scrapings of runes and it freaked me out. <laughs> I just saw the reel that said world's greatest chess moves. Check up! No! <laughs> Check up! <laughs> I hate it. Okay, so uh, the answer lies. Oh uh, yeah, between the eyes. Uh, yeah. What what are the eye colors? Uh, I ha I do have a green and a red. The green is on the left, and the red is in fact on the right. All right, you're gonna want to hit the. Uh... Okay, so it looks like a like a line graph. It goes up and then down and then way up and then down and then up. It's not It's not with the boob sticking, with the, the stick sticking out of the it's, bottom of the boob. It's just a line. A, or the a, poop and butt. Yeah, it's just a right. line. I'm pressing that one first? Uh, yeah, go ahead and press that one. Okay. And then press the one that kind of looks like an infinity symbol if it were made of triangles with two lines going down off of it. A Viking rune, yes. All hey, right. door opened. 
What is this thing? <laughs> I'm seeing all these paintings. Yeah, they're super great. Oh, that's me. You'll get to see the dog. Oh, I can't wait for you to see, to see the, the dog. dog. I also, now I'm looking around to see if there's anything we can, like, use for later on that thing. Uh, someone in chat said they looked it up and there's no other ending. Oh, well, that sucks. Uh, Toast right. Platt said there's no other ending. Someone has to stay behind. There's... Oh, cool. Someone's whispering to me in this creepy room. Uh, all right. So, shall I describe to you the painting I am looking at? Yes, please describe me the painting. The painting... Oh, Christ, this really is a pose I would draw on the Drawfee Show. Um, oh, okay, so it has a lamb head. I found it already, I think, because you said it's a pose you would draw. It's a lamb it head. Lamb head, snail shell, bird no. tail, cloven hooves, bird feet? Nope. Son of a bitch. Oh, it's it the is, other one. It is a lamb head with, like, an ostrich neck with two goat legs and then, like, peacock feather and tail and then... uh chicken legs sticking out in either direction yeah so there's two lamb headed ones that both have this exact same pose yeah one has the snail shell and the other one's got the not the the peacock stuff okay so here's your runes yes your runes are a uh, skinny cat uh, arms raised to the heavens S skinny cat skinny cat is placed uh then a uh, turtle turtle on a stand Oh, yeah, I see the turtle on a stand. Uh-huh. And the last one is like, it kind of looks like, you ever watch Cowboy Bebop? Yes. It looks like Spike's spaceship, the swordfish, pointing downwards. Got it. <laughs> yes. The second you said Spike's <laughs> ship, I knew. <laughs> uh, yes. Wonderful. Uh, we work well together. Yes. Okay, so I think this is the drowning room. Yep, this is the drowning room. Uh, green. Uh, I gotta figure out where I solve this one. Run! Hold on, hold on. Run, I'm drowning! Oh, well, here I go. It's up to my face. Uh, Goodbye. I, hold on, I'm trying to find where the solution to this one is. Goodbye, cruel world. Oh, here's the projector. It, do you want me to tell you where it is? Hold on, hold on. Do you want me to tell you where it is? Hold your horses. Well, the door is covered in water now. No, hold on, I'm gonna get it. I keep having to move up. Hold on. Jacob! Hold on. Uh, you said... Green? Green! I don't see that color. Oh, I'm that's also... right, you have to make it. I'm colorblind. Oh, that's I know. right. Uh, green is what? Red and blue and yellow? Yeah, blue and yellow. It's blue and yellow. Ah, oh, thank God. <laughs> I went all the way to the top to try to get away, get away from the water. Wow, they were really mean to you, huh? Yeah, it took me a minute, uh, but I got there. Um... Okay, now I'm in the room. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm trying not to, like, tell you things from my end for these solvings. Uh, I'm in uh, Bring Down the Guiding Light. Ah, uh, yeah, so you're in the map room. Yeah. Um, okay, so I've got the map here. I guess I have to do the chandelier thing, huh? Yes. You have a pretty good amount of time, to be honest with you. Uh. Okay. I'm trying I to figure out. I also remember the map. How I direct you through this. Yeah, it's a lot of. You have to figure out all the steps. Uh, well, you just have to figure them out on your own. Bit. Yeah. Okay, interesting. It's a lot of running around. Yeah, one sec, I gotta read this. Okay, Julia, if you go straight ahead and take a right, and then take your first right down the stairs to a room with some boxes and a, and a table, there'll be a blue switch you're looking for. I did in fact hit that switch. Okay, now if you turn around, leave that room, take a left, 
like go up the stairs and take a left. Uh, go all the way down past the entrance. Go, go on those stairs, and then take a right and go up or down those stairs. Ooh, that's a whole body, isn't it, huh? Where are you going, little body? Oh yeah, you saw it. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, that dog is happy to have barfed. Yeah, keep going th that way past the barfing dog. Uh, there's like a little snaky turn, but keep going straight. Yeah. And you'll get to a room with some boxes and a green switch. And I'd like I do to have hit the that. green switch. Yeah, switch that. I have, in fact, switched the green switch. Okay, now go all the way back the way you came. I'm going back the way I did. So you'll, you'll turn around, go on the stairs, uh, straight down that hallway past the barfing dog. Um, yes, sir. You'll go up the stairs, take a left, go down the stairs. Uh, go, shit, the light went out. Uh, go, go, so... Am going, I going to the blue switch? You're going past the stairs to the blue switch. Okay. And then taking a left. And then taking okay. another left and going down some stairs. And then taking a right. And then taking another right and going down some stairs. And then taking another right. And that should lead you to a room with a bunch of barrels and boxes and a red switch that I need you to hit. Um, the blue door is down. Hold on. Three Zaws, you know the order, um, because you have to remember which doors are open and which doors are closed, because when you pull a switch, it will close one door, but open the other one. So it's one of the colors is always closed. Oh, yeah. Open. Um, I need you to hit the blue switch then, Julia. Okay. I've hit it. And then go go back that same way. Okie dokie. And, um, yeah, you'll, you'll leave the blue switch room and then, then take... Go up the stairs, take a right, then take a left, then follow the one hallway that there is. And then uh, take a right and go down into the room with the barrels and the boxes and the red switch. I did, in fact, find that room with the red switch. All right, and you've hit the red switch? Yes, sir, I've hit the red switch. Okay, now I need you to go back out and all the way back to the blue switch. I am going back to the blue switch. And uh, hit that one again. If Steam tells me that my friend is playing Kingdom Come Deliverance one more flippin' time, I will throw <laughs> my computer out a window. <laughs> All right, I am back to the blue switch, and I will hit it. Yep, hit that. I then, have hit uh, the blue switch. Leave that room, take a left. We're going back to the green switch. So you'll take a left out of that room, go up the stairs, take a right, go down the stairs, uh, follow the snaky hallway past the barfing dog, and uh, then on your right with the boxes will be the green switch. I'm very sad that I have not seen this potato dog. I'll show it to you. Maybe it doesn't. Okay. Maybe you don't have it in your layout. All right, I do have this green switch hit. All right, once you hit that, you should be able to go directly to the left of the switch, through that door, and then out the exit. I found it. Hell yeah! Man, it's so cool seeing this from both ends. Yeah, it's very neat. All right, um, I'm at the chessboard. Okay, I'm bringing the reel upstairs. Yeah, I'm not going outside until you have everything. No, you need ready to go now. outside and turn on the generator. Yeah, but once you once you put the reel in, let me know. The reel's in. Go turn on the generator. Okay. You have to play a little mini game where you stop the needle when it's in the green. Oh great! I'm very good at those. Where is this generator? It's on the opposite wall. Oh, I see it. Uh, come on, game. Got it. Uh, right. Yep. And then crank it up. Okay, cranking. All right, it should be going. Okay, I'm starting the video. Uh, hopefully. Video. Hello. Hit the button. Oh, the button. There we go. Okay, so your first move will be E2 to E4. Yeah. In 
And then it's like a black pawn, right? That yeah, it's, uh, it's E7 to E5, yeah. Okay. Uh, then you'll move the the white bishop. It just went off. One second. It's like the white bishop to... Oh, flip and flip. Hold on, I'll tell you. The white bishop goes from... I got the bishop. I remembered. I remembered. I just need a moment. Uh, the bishop goes to... You got it to C4? Yep. Yeah. Then the black pawn uh, from B7 to B6. Okay. Uh, wait a second. <laughs> Sorry. It's stressful from that end, right? <laughs> Yeah, the the only saving grace I have is that I remember. Yeah. Uh, okay, so got the bishop, then the black pawn, then the uh, the queen at d1 goes to f3. Yep. Then the black knight goes to c6 from b8. Oh, flip! Oh no! Got it. And then you move the queen straight up to take the pawn, and that should win it. All right. Nice. Yeah. Nice work. All right. Please open the door. Please open the door. Please let me in. For the love of God, let me in. I was going to the wrong door. All right, yeah, I'm here. I, I actually did the exact same thing. Okay, now I am in... Ooh, good golly, that really is a penis. Uh, all right, I'm in the uh, spiky room. The spiky room. Yes, I will head back downstairs. I cannot wait for you to see this theater ghost. I'm really excited to see the theater ghost. Because... Uh, okay, what's... Uh... Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, it's not great. What's That's, your... It's wh your book. Yeah, it's, it's why I drew them down, because you have to look at so many of them. Uh, there's a cat head on a, on a plate. Okay, hold on. I gotta figure out where the, all the books even are. Yeah, there's there's quite a bit of them. Okay, cat head on a plate. Yes. Uh, is it on? It's not on like a tiny cross. Nope. Cat head on a plate. Cat head. That's a skinny cat. Uh, what are you? Turn over. Uh, that's a fat cat. Where the hell's cat head on a plate? Hold on, I'm looking around. It's just like a cat head on a straight line. Like a straight horizontal line? Yeah. Uh, okay, I found it. It's cat head. I think this must be the one. It's like cat head, then like a helmet looking thing, then a snake nope. in a mound. Nope. Shit. <laughs> I remember one of them that was hard to find. So what's after cat head on a plate? Uh, penis. Yeah, 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 penis. That's what I was saying helmet was. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, cat head on a plate, uh, penis, uh, a dude with no legs, but like a curly bottom. Yeah, I got the right one here. It ends in a house, right? Yeah, and then a dude with little circle hands. Yeah, and a big wiener. Okay. Got it. Uh, how do I open this book? You don't. What do I... Oh, hold on. Here we go. Okay, rotate. Rotate. Okay, here we go. Okay, uh, so you're 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 going to start on the far east side. Don't step on anything yet. Okay. Okay, so you're at the far east? Yes, sir. Take one step westward. One step westward. Okay, and am I stepping on that? No, don't step on it yet. Okay. Uh, now take start by taking two steps north. One, two. Take one more step north, but not before moving one step west. So west one, north one. Correct. West one, north one. Okay. Uh, go west some more till one hits the wall. Mm okay. Then go straight for the door. All right. That's the stuff. Oh, we're at the theater. Prepare for the spookiest part of this game. Oh man, I'm so excited. Are you guys ready for the spooks?
Okay, I'm in. In the theater. Welcome to tonight's feature show. You're gonna see what I was dealing with. Oh, I can see the pieces. You can see them, but you can't see the stage at all. You don't know what lever corresponds to what. Yeah. Okay, so I'm looking for the the dang thing. Which I'm not actually seeing. Uh, do you want me to tell you? Oh, there's doors. Yes. I can go onto the stage. Yes. Uh, okay. Here we go. Oh, God! <laughs> You're right, that's very spooky. <laughs> yep! Okay, kingdom filled with life. So I need a uh, castle, and I need people. What did that move? The, uh, I can't tell yet. The people are bottom right. Okay, hold on. People are bottom right. Is that moving anything? Uh, you gotta keep, you gotta hit the left arrow. Oh, okay. You'll hear a sound, and you keep oh, clicking yeah, until it. the sound is done. Okay, that's there. Uh, castle, I believe, is top middle. Okay. Yeah, there it comes. I hate the marionette. Oh, wait until it starts moving on you. And uh, try to try to go towards it. If I go off the stage? Just, like, walk at it a little bit. Oh, it blacks me out. Yep. Uh, okay, hit the, hit the scene lever. Okay. How do I... Oh, there we go. There once was a castle filled with light. Okay. And there lived a king. Jacob, look behind oh, you. Oh, I hate it. Okay, king and his wife. So I need castle. Okay, moving the castle. Oh, that's the people. Sorry. No uh, worries. Castle. Yep, get that one all the way out here. Okay. Okay, uh, and then I need... So the bottom middle is the bloody king. Oh, whoops. Top uh, right, okay. I believe, is king. Okay, I'm moving him on. Yep, that would be king. And then bottom left is queen. All right. I've written all these down. All right. All right, get her out there. And uh, I think that's it, right? You just hit the lever. Okay, yeah, let me... And there lived Wonderful. His wife. I'm watching you, Marionette. If you move, I'm going to see you do it. You know he moves when you hear a little jingle. Probably only when I'm not looking. Oh, no, he moves when he wants. Okay, all were happy and all was good. So get everyone out there except the bloody king. There he goes, he moved. So everything but bottom middle. Is he in his little upside down pose? Yeah, he's in the upside down pose. I hate it. Yeah, that's the scariest one. Oh. Actually, the scariest one is when he's on stage with you. Man, I'm sorry I got you killed here so many times. <laughs> It's so scary because he's right behind you. And that little area where it starts to black out gets yeah. smaller and smaller. Okay, almost there. Great, you're there. Flip the switch. Okay. I, like, almost don't want to move this fast so you can see all of his all very scary movements. Okay. Until yeah. the king killed all he could. And until the king killed all he could. So just remove the king. Who's uh Is he still out? He's out, right? Yeah, he's he's leaving now, and now bring out Bloody King. Yeah. Oh, Bloody King. He angry. Yeah, he's uh, fun. And now Bloodlight. Marionette moves hey. again. Blood yeah, I was light. about to say, look at the marionette. Bloodlight. 
Uh, yeah. All right, now flip the switch. Oh, Marionette, I hate you. Him sitting in the audience and him on stage are the worst ones. It was so funny because, like, when we were doing it with walkie talkies, I couldn't hear you reacting to him all the time. You know, because <laughs> I was screaming. Because you probably didn't have the the walkie up every time you were reacting. Stop standing in blood, he proudly said. Okay, standing in blood, he proudly said. So that's normal king plus bloodlight. Yeah, is he moving on stage right now? No, give me normal king. I'm trying. And I, I think, I think that was it for this one. Is that they're all on? The ones that need to be on are on. I think it was just normal king and bloodlight. I believe so. Standing in blood, Oof. Said. Damn! I wanted you to see. So, when we finished that, the marionette was on stage staring at me. Oh, he just moved closer. That... Yeah. He's, 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 how... sitting, uh, he's sitting in the front seat now. I hate when he sits in the front seat. The worst is when he is on stage, though. Should I wait for him to come on stage? Hell yes, you should. All right, guys. We're going to wait until he comes on stage. Then I'll go in the trap door. Isn't he? He's flipping terrifying. He's so... He's so good, he's so scary, and the fact that you can't like look at him or get close to him is a smart design choice. Yeah, my game glitched for a second and it let me get really close to him and then it just immediately killed me. I'm gonna be waiting by the trap door here. Yeah, I'm I'm by the trap door as well. Uh, Cause it probably won't take him that long to get on stage. I wanna see what it looks like, guys. <laughs> Everyone in chat is freaking out. I see that. Don't you dare. <laughs> Man, what a what a cool game. I've been really enjoying this. I'm playing with the lights back here. Yeah, I saw the light go on and off. <laughs> Come on, buddy. He's just watching. Oh, there he is. Oh, God. So he's, like, splayed out at the front of the stage? Yeah. Oh, horrible. Yeah, it's not great. All right, I'm going in the hole. Yep, I'm in the hole. Hello. Hello. Yay. Yeah. All right, this time you get to leave. Okay, bye. Later. It's been Enjoy real. being with that marionette and the zombie thing. It doesn't seem like good times. Yeah, I can't wait to die. <laughs> I got an achievement that's his worst friend ever. Yeah, I got one that said, why me? Was there another way? Nope. Unless you kill that marionette somehow and then put his corpse on the button. Have we been here before? I mean, yeah. We have. Man, how rad. That's super good. I want to play the second one. Yeah, me too. Uh, we're definitely going to do that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know when. I guess next time you and I stream. Yeah, I would be. Do it. So down. Because I, I was, I'm very surprised. I didn't expect this to be this good at the school. I remember, like, at work today, I, we were like, "What game should we play?" And I was like, "Something bad." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we, yeah. we failed that one thing. We played something good we, instead. We did. I mean, we were gonna play that other game, and um. I mean, like, we have 10 minutes, and I don't know if it's worth trying it. I, I didn't even download it, so. Yeah, that's, I'm, yeah, I didn't get it either, but uh, I, th I think that's it. I think this is a good uh, a good stopping point. Yeah. We've, we finished a, the, the entirety of this game, full playthroughs. We did, the, like, both sides of that game. What a good time. That was very good. That was a very good game, and I highly recommend it to everyone, even though now y'all see all the answers, but, um, I, yeah, I'm definitely gonna get the second one. <laughs> Oliver Soyo said I just got here. Oh, sorry, you missed a very good time. Uh, I mean, well, we got eight minutes left. What do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> 
I can offer you eight minutes. Give us a give us some ask us a question. <laughs> We're here for it for eight minutes. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Well. <laughs> happy things. Yeah. Not that marionette doll. Though I do want to draw him. Oh yeah, the marionette doll is so cool. He's just he's very dope. Abby um, said, "Talk to me about how to not be super early to streams." <laughs> uh, I think the key is um, you, you got to read the time better. And the and yeah, and the time zone. Maybe that was an issue, but you know. Uh, how to remove super glue from skin? I got nothing for that. Um, uh, orange glow. It's the only way I know. Orange glow. Uh, Ice Ice Tongue Twenty Three just said Flesh Kirby in all caps. Very good. I mean, <laughs> imagine if we ducked into VR chat for literally seven minutes. <laughs> I don't even think we'd have enough time to load it up. I don't think so. That game's a very mess. Funny. It is hot mess. I took so many screenshots, and they're all of this marionette. Oh, and I did. Oh, I can take send you the dog. Yeah, please send me the dog, because I didn't see it. I, I did take a screenshot of uh, the room in uh, that I found in the game just called Titty. Titty. <laughs> very funny and very dumb. Uh, still um, far, I said I love the Pride Shirt app. I need more gay drawfee. Yeah, okay, the, uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. The Pride Shirt is is doing super well. We're, we're really happy about it. Um, we've sold, like... What, over 700 last time we checked? Yeah, and it's been up for, what, four days? Yeah, it's been up for, like, four days, and we've sold over 700 shirts. So you guys That's are incredible. Bonkers. Yeah, thank you so much to everyone who bought one. If you haven't picked one up, I suggest you do, because all of the money we make is going to go to uh, a very good charity. Yeah. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back up my mic now, because I'm probably coming in very loud. Oh, man, you're so clear. So clear and crisp. Oh, well, I'll bring it back. Hello. You're uh, Maximum Julia. I'm a Maximum me again. I'm looking at this scary boy. Um, I'm going to send you the image of this of these spooky ghosts that I took of me hiding in corners trying to make him not get me. Oh, yeah, I do want to see that. Oh, I think I also took a screenshot of when I was like directly below him because um, I broke the game. Uh oh yeah here he is. Ooh. Um. Uh yeah the real gay alien is is right. Willie is the straightest, uh man on Drawfee. He is. He's never once had a a gay thought. And, no, uh, he never. Has, he has just a really good platonic friendship with his good platonic friend Matt, and that's how you know he's straight. Yeah, it's a it's a very strong friendship. Yeah, it's strong. It's beautiful. It will last a lifetime. My uh, my computer just asked me if I wanted to render this in 3D, and I don't think so. Yeah, probably not, I'd say. Pride in my state is not until September, and it's weird. What? Why does a state have it in a different month than the rest of the country? Yeah, that is strange. Oh, the heat. Yeah, the heat's probably a possibility. I'm trying to find where this dang dog is saved, and I can't figure it out. Uh, if you go... Did you uh, just do the Steam uh, screenshot thing? I just hit print screen. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, Steam has their own like screenshot thing where you can hit F12 and it takes a screenshot of the game. Um, oh, I didn't do that. That's what I did. I've been a fool. I sent you the lunging marionette. Oh, and also the scariest screenshot. Hold on. Oh, man, it's so spooky. I hate it so much. Yeah. Him upside down is probably the scariest one, but also just knowing that he's on stage is also super spooky. Yeah, I don't want him anywhere near me. Yeah. Uh, Lana Overland said, I think y'all are going to be so confused when you see the canon your chat created around the phallic church while you were playing. <laughs> 
I don't doubt it. Yeah. I'll, I'll worship the phallic church. The cat head plate thing. And... I do like this weird uh, story we established where we became, like, southern truckers. Southern truckers? It seemed so right when we were saying over. It did. It really, I just, I felt it, I, I got into it, and I was giving you directions, and it was fun. Um, oh, <laughs> all worship Lord Titty, yeah. All hail uh, Lord Titty. All hail, all, all hail, all hail Lord Titty. All hail Lord Titty. <laughs> all, all hail Lord Titty, why didn't you save me? <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. I am excited to watch that back, um. Oh, yeah, you can watch yeah. the stream and find the dog. That's true. I will do that. You might have um, to because I don't know where the screenshot went. It just disappeared. Okay. I'll watch it tomorrow at work, uh, and then I will laugh when I hear all of our stupid southern voices again. Uh, I'm looking at the chat. It was a, <laughs> it was a natural organic bit. I, I would like to uh, pretend that we, like, script anything in our lives, but uh, nope. We, we, don't, we don't have that sort of organization. No, no way. No, we don't have the time. We don't have the organization. We barely show up to draw few recordings on time. Yeah. Uh, writing anything is too hard. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely read the chat when you watch it back when the whole chat was screaming at Jacob. Yeah. Oh, I saw it. I was just, I had my own stress to worry about, chat. <laughs> I didn't need your help to be stressed. Uh, they were um, trying to yell at me as to which, like, uh, anchor, not anchor, uh, crank I should turn. Because I kept turning the wrong cranks, and that's why you kept dying. Oh. Uh, um, Jacob, what are we doing tomorrow for the Darkly stream? That's a good question. Um, I guess we'll talk to our other stream stream buds and, yeah, see, and see what they want to do. If they're in or not. And uh, we'll kind of go from there. So we'll figure it out, and we'll, we'll tweet out tomorrow with what, what we're actually going to do. Yeah, now I'm looking back. Where where's that dang dog? Says Ocrate. I don't know where the dang um, dog is. I don't know, but that's what it says. Uh, th there's just an oh god, in there. Yeah. Uh, so seems Southern right. truckers. Southern truckers. Uh, is any oh is anyone from Drawfee LGBTQ? Uh, yes. Um, where where's that dang dog again? Uh, oh, it's Virginia? Virginia gets so hot that they had to move it to September? Oh my god, this flesh Kirby by the Great Moss. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, I, it's good and scary. Oh yeah, I did see this. It's incredible. Uh, uh, Alright, it's 11. I guess we can bounce. Yeah! We've done our part. Yes, yes we have. Uh, And we'll be back tomorrow playing uh, something. I don't know. We're going to talk about it at work tomorrow, and then we'll tweet about it. But we'll be back on at the same time tomorrow uh, with, hopefully, a few of our buddies. Yeah. Thanks this for watching, This one was everybody. a really good one to do with just two of us. So. Yeah, I had a great time. Uh, we'll yeah. see you guys tomorrow night. Yeah, and thanks for joining everyone for this one. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>